I decided to use two cheeses. A little mozzarella and a little Italian style cheese. Put some Italian style cheese on here first. Don't be afraid to create something new and different. You never know what you might come up with. I mean, that's all it is, leftovers, and you just might throw them out anyway, so make something with them. You see how it tastes before you go into just throwing all your leftovers away. This is how some great food helps them create it. When people's not afraid to take a chance and be creative and do stuff with their food. Now I'm going to throw the spinach on top after it finished cooking because I don't want my spinach cooked. I want my spinach to still be wild like so because it's more healthier that way. So that's why I'm not going to do the spinach. Now I'm going to turn the stove on, turn it down, put my top over and let it do its thing. It's going to do its thing, guys. It was this thing cook, of course. You turn the fire down kind of low. We don't want the fire too high. I can put the cheese back up. Keep it nice and chill. While I'm waiting on that to cook. I hear sizzling already. Put up all my ingredients so that they would not go bad while we're waiting on that to cook. So for the Spanish, I got still use that. Hear it cooking. I hear it cooking. Put my potatoes up. Now when the cheese melts, that means it is ready. You get a little view of it while it's cooking. You see, there's a little hole here for steam to come out. So make sure you get the right kind of top, too. You see, the cheese is starting to melt, it's starting to sizzle, but you cannot see it because the top is fogged up. We do not want to remove the top because we don't want to let none of the steam out water out because steam is coming out through the little hole but we want to keep all our heat in so that our cheese can melt you see the steam we want to keep all that in now you can turn your skillet around to different directions so that all the heat can go evenly but do not take the top off until you see your cheese have melted you hear it popping? That's okay. You can turn your top around. You can turn your skillet around. But do not take the top off. See, we can turn it this way. Make sure it's cooking evenly. Turn it that way. Make sure everything is cooking evenly. If 
But remember, don't take your top off. You want your cheese to melt. Once the cheese melts, you're all good. Don't worry about it burning on the bottom. Okay, it's starting to get crispy brown on the bottom. I can see where it's turning black. The cheese is almost melted. Now that the cheese is almost melted, and it's getting crispy, it's almost ready to get cut off. The cheese is not going to brown, so don't worry about the cheese getting brown. Because when you cut it off, and you let it set for a minute, the heat is going to continue to melt the cheese. The cheese don't have to be all running melt, but it just want to be melted so that it's still not cold and the rest of your food is not cold. Everything is nice and heated up. When the cheese have melted, then you know that everything else is nice and heated up. I can see it getting very crispy brown on the bottom. Now I think this thing got crispy brown enough on the bottom. The cheese is melted enough where I'm going to cut it off and then let the heat, let it set on the burner and let the heat continue to cook it. It's cut off now. Okay, it has set and the cheese has melted. I'm going to show you guys. 